الذين هاجروا في الله من بعد ما ظلموا لنبوئنهم في الدنيا حسنة ولا أجر الآخرة أكبر لو كانوا يعلمون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'm Darren Harris also known as Abdul Muqsin and on this channel I give you the tips, tricks, and the inside scoop to make you the best person possible so I'm going to try to make this video a short as possible and um, this video is in regards to getting a phone plan and having a phone like a phone number in the UAE it is a must that you have a phone number in the UAE because everything runs through the phone line like literally everything um, so this is one of the most important things that one needs to have uh, when they're here in the UAE is an active phone plan. They have different phone plans. They have temporary ones. They have uh, year ones and things like that. And your phone plan more than likely will be aligned with your home package. So I will talk about both phone plan and home package. I'll just cover home package briefly because later videos in this series, I will cover that. So let's jump right on into the different selections you have for your phone packages. Okay, so this is the first one that we have, which is uh, Virgin Mobile. So I'm gonna go over Virgin Mobile first, do second, and Etisala last. If I had to say about Virgin Mobile, I was about maybe this close to getting Virgin Mobile when I first got here, um, because I went into the mall, and mostly every mall you go into will have one of these three options to deal with your phone things and stuff like that. Um, so. I was looking at Virgin Mobile and I was going to do it, but I, it wasn't, it had nothing to do about the prices or anything like that. It was just, I don't know. I just, I just didn't do it. Um, but this is some of the things they have, as you see on the website, free and fast 5G network, big saving uh, on six or 12 month uh, plans. So I'm assuming they have six months plans and 12 months plans. Um, uh Cashback rewards, flexible payment options. You can simply get started by just clicking that get started thing. Then here goes a little picture of their SIM. Then here's their little uh, build your plan um, section. So yeah, I was pretty close to getting uh, Virgin Mobile, um, but I didn't get Virgin Mobile. So you get you can get your SIM in 60 minutes, get your free SIM delivered right to your doorstep, no matter whether you're in Dubai or if you're in Abu Dhabi. Sharjah, Ras Al Khaimah, Ajman, Al Ain, Fujairah, or Um Al Kuwain. You can get your uh, SIM card delivered to your doorstep with Virgin Mobile. Um, and they also have a three day money back guarantee. So uh, they're sure, they say that they're sure you'll love us, and but they have nothing to lose if you don't. So apparently they'll give you back your money if you don't like it. So yeah, guys, this is it. This is how it looks. Uh, this is how it's going to probably look on your on your side. Yeah, this is how it probably look on your side. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much Virgin Mobile. I can't go too, too, too much into detail about Virgin Mobile because I don't have Virgin Mobile. But I really hope um, if you're considering getting it, Virgin Mobile, they're, they're definitely uh, an option that you can think about using to the next one so it's due and to be 100 transparent i have due i have due home package and i also have due uh sell like plan so i have a due plan on my phone and i also have due home package um my experience with due is that i haven't really had any issues to be honest um before i had uh for the home package i had like there was like a deal that was going on back in March that I had got where like I had like a decent amount of um like data. It's like a super duper deep, decent amount of data and stuff like that for mine. And the price that I had paid was about like an equivalent to pounds was like 40 pounds for my for my phone thing for a month. So it would, be, it would have been like 40 pounds a month. But then I ended up getting home package, which uh deals with Wi-Fi and all the rest of that other stuff, like TV, Wi-Fi, and stuff like that. So it bumped it up to about maybe like a, an extra like 50 or something. So I was paying about 90 to 100. Then I upped the speed again. So now I'm up to about like 
a hundred and if I had to guess, maybe like a hundred and forty pounds. So it's about seven hundred and something dirham. I think to be exact, seven hundred and sixty dirham. So it's kind of like for me, I pay a lot with do because I got like super duper high speed internet in my house, and I also have like a phone plan and things like that. So let's just go on to the do, uh, so I can show you guys about it. This is their website. They got um. They have devices as well. You can actually get a device. They got post plan, pre plan, internet, and TV, which I said is really good. Um, uh, you can also, I think, you can also get like a phone, and then you pay like a certain amount a month, and they give you the phone and the plan. So that's pretty interesting if you're interested in that. Then you can do, do how much data you want. So, for example, if we did like this, if we were to um, go through this and say, okay, we want four megabytes of data, which is not a lot. So we're going to say 13. So we go next step 13. Uh, we want to have it international recommend. Let's see what, what they have to say. Yeah. Recommendations. The recommendations that they come up with, like an estimate for your plan on the do will be for me to have this super speed internet do should be going a little bit faster. Just messing about. So, all right. So, um, this is what they're offering, 1,000 dirham, 500, 300, and you get 300 data, 500, this, that, the speed, 20 meg megabytes. So yeah, pretty much they got a lot of different stuff that you can go through and you can check it up and everything on your own. But yeah, it's pretty dope. I have do, I love it. I haven't had any problems yet. When I say it's a little bit expensive, yeah, it's a little bit of ex expensive, but that's just how it works here in regards to internet speeds, phone plans, and stuff like that. Um, they, and like I said, they have dues and um, they have do and um, all these different uh, mobile services in almost every single mall you go in, literally. So that's due. Like I said, I have it um, and it's pretty good. All right, last and certainly not least, uh, we have Etisalat. Did you know that there's an actual metro station named? I don't know if it's named after Etisalat, but there's a metro station here in Dubai on the metro line named Etisalat. So um, I'm not sure, maybe either. I don't know which one's more uh, popular. You guys can put that down in the comment section, but I think Itisala may even be more popular than Do. But let's go down and let's see. So this is what they have. They have mobile plans. Uh, here goes the stuff that their mobile plans options, they have TV and internet, and then they have devices where you can get Apple, Samsung, Hawaii, Sony, and the rest of them. Yeah, um, they even got a little section where you can click what you're looking for for a Tisela. Um, some of the data and calls plans they have, you can click to buy it now. They got prepaid options. Um, and everything like that. They have, apparently they have a lot of offers. To be honest, me, I don't really like their website that much. It's not really, I don't really like their website that much. That's just my opinion, but yeah. So this is Itisala. As I said, I have do. Um, they have all their social medias down here at the bottom, their cards and stuff that they take. Um, and many people may say, how long does it take to set up your phone, your phone um, plan? Like I said, uh, a phone plan. This is Iti Salah, guys. So the three options, it's uh, Virgin Mobile, Do, and Iti Salah. Those are the three that options that I would say most people should go for. Uh, but if someone else knows something else, then you can go ahead and do that on your own. So that's pretty much it that I wanted to share with you guys, and I'll continue on. What I wanted to say is that um, the phone plans is a must. The phone plan is a must. And... um. It doesn't take too long to get it set up. So for me, when I got my due, I literally walked in and I went in, I got a number. I told them, look, I want to set up a phone. I have the money to pay, I set up the account. This is I picked the phone number. I showed them my Emirates ID. Once I showed them my Emirates ID, I picked the plan that I wanted to have. It was simple as them issuing me the number, uh, giving me the SIM, taking out my old SIM, putting in the new one. Your phone should be unlocked. So if you have like Vodafone or a three, or you have any of the, um, uh, plan, any of the servers from like England or America, Sprint, T-Mobile, whatever you have, you're going to need to, 
remove the actual um, O2 is the other one in England and the, and the American, I think they have Verizon as well, but you're going to need to remove the thing and make it unlock so that you can put your new SIM in. Once you put your new SIM in, it's as simple as maybe I think like 30 minutes, then it's active, boom, it's active. And then you can start using your phone to like uh, set up a bank and do the rest of the stuff. But don't worry, I'm going to go over every single step for your journey here in Dubai. But that's pretty much it. A phone, a phone is is uh key. A phone is key. And a lot, and one more thing I'll share with you guys before I end the video is that here in this country, they use WhatsApp for everything. Like some businesses run completely through WhatsApp. Like this could probably never happen back in England or America, where the fact that they're running their businesses through WhatsApp, like everything goes through WhatsApp from like contacting your agent and for your apartment or everything goes through WhatsApp, like literally. So that's pretty much it. So you're going to definitely need a number so that you can call, you can receive calls, you can do this and you can do that and everything like that. So this is one of the most important videos that I have made so far in regards to the journey to the UAE, which is you need a phone. I don't know how much emphasis I can put on it. You're going to need a phone, a phone deal so that you can do most of this stuff. Okay. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That's all I got for you. Your guy, Darren Harris, also known as Abdul Mustin. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.